what are some of the key uh, things that you really, really get attached and love this business? Typically, when you work in a job or, or an industry that is very, very capped, you kind of have to save up your chips and then buy. What I like about this one is, um, is you're able to build yourself up towards that dream home, dream car, dream family, dream lifestyle, dream trip. You can set a goal towards it, work hard towards it and hit because in a job or a salary or career or, or hourly wage, no matter how hard you work, you're capped at that salary, capped at that hour. So what I loved about this industry is you're able to do that. But what's even more important than that is specifically this company, it allowed me to transform my health time and time again. I don't know if you noticed, Allison, but let me see if I can pull it up. But I'm sure you remember this picture from 10 plus years ago at the first launch uh, when I first used the product. Um, 10 plus years ago, um, I lost 67 pounds in 60 days. So this was my transformation. That was me. So if you get Whoa. To me, so. so that was me 10 plus years ago. I got started in art. And more importantly than, than the financial part was the health part. I was a zero in terms of health. So what I loved about RX and, and what they had to do now new age is, is they said, hey, no matter where you are from either a zero or a 10, your goal is to go from a zero to a one, right? And so this product Slenderize first allowed me to just go from a zero to a one to two. So I dropped 67 pounds in 60 days, no working out. I didn't even know what healthy food was. And then I met the woman of my dreams, I met my wife, and then from there, Life got interesting. Um, she's younger than me, so she had a better metabolism than me. So when we would eat out, we eat out a little bit later and we'd enjoy too much. And eventually I kind of gained it back as I traveled. You know, I traveled and a lot of business and I was able to grow my business through this because of my transformation. And then came 2020, I said, you know what, let's let's do something. And so I said, let's start with ourselves, right? That's the first thing you can start with is yourself. That's what I love about this business is that you can start with yourself. What's technically free, you start with yourself first. So before you work on something else, you work on someone else, you have to first work on yourself. So I said, okay, let me work on myself. We got slenderized. This is give it a shot. But this time, I want to do a little bit differently and, and actually gain some muscle mass with it. And so that was the start because 2020 for me was such a like a bad year. I wanted to start 2021 off right. And so that's what I did. So that's why I love what Arts is that no matter how many times I fell, no many times I, I lost weight, gained weight, got fat, got skin. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how many times. Well, of this business, you can kind of pick yourself back up and start again. In a traditional business or a job, if if you lose it, you lose your brick and mortar. You have to. It's a it's a big it's a like it's like a mountain you have to climb again. Mm -hmm. in, in this business, you just start with what you have, and that's what I love. Rx is such a mobile boat, I guess you could say, that you can yeah. set mm -hmm. a better sail and you'll see it right away. You know, you're not, you're not having to scramble about your inventory or your rent or utilities. It's like you can, you can, you can pivot and change and then, and then redirect your boat one way versus another way. And so that's what I love. And it's going to continue to grow because no matter what happens to the world, I think RX and new age RX will be able to adjust and adapt, right? The only, the only guarantee in life, the only consistent uh, variable in life is change. Any last word for those young people or, you know, younger people out there who's looking into this? <laughs> I, I would say um, you don't lose in life. You just learn. That's it. Mm. You know, I mean, people look at situations that you might not favor you and stuff. And you can look at it two ways. You know, there's, there's always two viewpoints. There's always two sides to the story, no matter what they say. Right. There's always two sides to the story. So you can look at a failure as a failure, or you can look at it as a learning experience towards the next step because failure only means when you quit. So as long as you don't quit, you never fail. So if you have the ultimate goal, let's say you want that dream home, dream lifestyle, dream, let's just say dream home for say example, right? So a little failure here, a little failure there doesn't mean anything. It's just a learning block or a learning lesson towards getting to where you want. I look at every situation as a learning lesson, not a failure, not a problem, not an issue. Doesn't matter if it's mm. my fault or not my fault. If it's not my fault, I don't care. I try to take the most out of it because mm. everyone is the best, right? You learn more by losing. And so I said, okay, if it, regardless if I'm right or wrong, regardless if I'm right or wrong, I said, can I learn something from that situation? And if the answer is yes, then I have to learn it, apply it, and change.